And now, from the most exciting one-horse town in the world, it's snack time! It's time for a Snack Boy flashback. So jump on the magic carpet ride, kids, because we're going back in time to my brother, Seminary Kenny, yes, the boy of the Lord, God's favorite kid, my brother Kenny Crummett. Now, before there was seminary and his beautiful Filipino bride, Kate, my brother Kenny was quite the tough. He didn't let, I sound like Casey Gaysham today. My brother Kenny was quite the tough. He did not let people push him around, and he got that from my mother's Sunday school, Sue. He did not let people push him around. Ah, oh, no. We're like the Bundys people. We're like cockroaches after nuclear war. You cannot push us around. We stand up for ourselves. Remember the lady at the movie theater? Oh, she'll never talk back again. She'll never talk back again. Well, I remember one time. It's like Jen Brady now. I remember one time. Everybody, it's Russia. Anyway, there we were at King's Dominion Amusement Park, but it wasn't just my brother and I as a family unit or us with friends. No, we were representing the Lord Jesus Christ at the, at the amusement park because we were there as a young gang of Clifton Parkers. That's what our church, Clifton Park Baptist Church, called the young folk at the time. The new Clifton Parkers. You know, we're talking like mid-1980s, early 1990s, and my brother and I were proud members, so proud to be a part of the Clifton Parkers. And we went to King's Dominion, we piled in the church van, and it didn't run so well, and we were like, putt, 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 all the way to the King's Dominion, and we got out, and we were just like in the movie Vacation, Wally World, who's the moosiest moose we know, Wally Moose, but it wasn't a moose, it was King's Dominion. We were in line for the Tickler, one of my favorite roller coasters, and we looked over the railing, and there, okay, I'm lying. It was not the tickler, people. It was the rebel yell. It was the rebel yell. The, the roller coaster goes forward. It goes backwards. It does anything, and it is all American. It is red, white, and blue. It's painted those colors. And that day on the roller coaster, we looked over the railing as we all stood around, us merry youth group members, and there below was a gang of thugs, people. And there was no bigger nigger white Opie or nigger white James in sight to stand up for us. There was only me, little twerpy snack boy in the seventh grade, and my brother, seminary Kenny, pre-seminary, mind you, and our friends, Emily and, 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 and the other Emily, and there was nothing we could do. There was nothing we could do. But my brother, he decided to fight. He was going to be like Norma Ray people. He was going to stand for our rights. He said, Terry, I'm going to not let them up on this roller coaster. They're not line butting because as they were going up the ramp, they're like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. They were butting past everybody. They were tough. They were freckled, and they were mean, mean people. I know what you're thinking to yourself. Snack boys, it worth bodily harm to stand up to thugs, to punks. Do you want a death wish like Charles? What's his name? Bronson, day of snack boy. And no, I didn't. I said, Kenny, please, let them go by. Don't start anything. Let them go by for the love of God. And my brother said, no, Terry, if I have to fight, are you going to back me up? I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to die. I said, no way, Kenny, you're on your own. And he said, brother, what did Mary Magdalene do in the Bible? I said, she got stoned. And I don't mean with pot, brother. He said, you're going to help me fight. I said, Kenny, I can't. They're big and I am small. He said, just like David and Goliath. I said, stop using biblical references. I'm afraid. He says, I'm afraid too, Terry, but I'm going to stop them. And if you don't help me fight, you're not my brother anymore. Oh. He stopped them. He said, halt. Stop in the name of the Clifton Parkers. And they're like, what? And Kenny said, I'm not letting you by. And they tried busting by. And Kenny grabbed the rails. I'm not letting you by. Back me up, Terry. And I grabbed the rails behind him. It was a beautiful brotherly moment. But then they're like, man, I'm going to go by, bro. And just as then, the King's Dominion Police Security said, stop, halt, halt you. What's going on? And my brother explained, these thugs, these ruffians are trying to line break. And everyone in line was like, yeah. Yeah, they did it to us, yeah! And Kenny said, I won't stand for it. And they said, we're going to be waiting for you all at the end of the ride, bro. Oh yeah, homie, it's going to be a bumping ride because we're going to be waiting for you, yo. But the King's Dominion Police said, no, you won't because if that happens, you'll be escorted out of the park too sweet like a hot toddy. And guess what? I didn't have to fight. 
But Kenny was still mad. We went home and he was like, Mom, Dad, Carrie was willing to let us be beat up and die. Uh, 